Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this quick demo, I'm going to show you how to create a Scratch Orb. Let's get started by launching Visual Studio Code. This video assumes that you have already set up VS Code with Salesforce DX tools, including CLI. Let's go to the command palette and create a project with Manifest. For ease, I'm going to choose a standard template and I'm going to call this demo scratch org. I need to pop this in a convenient place on my desktop and then press create. It's now created a new project for me in VS Code and you can see that some of my extensions are now initializing. From here, I'm going to set my default org as my dev hub that I have already configured. And I am now going to go into config and adjust the scratch org definition file. This tells the system what type of org you want and what specific features you're looking to enable. So in this case, I want to set up an org with Sales Cloud Einstein, and this is only available in enterprise uh, scratch orgs. So I'm changing the addition to enterprise, and I am going to tell Salesforce that I want Sales Cloud Einstein within this org, and then I'm going to press save. And now that file has been updated and it's ultimately ready to go. For a full list of features that are available in Scratch Orgs, be sure to check out this page, which details exactly what features and functionality you can turn on or configure as part of your Scratch Org definition file. So now that I've set up my file and I'm ready to go, I'm going to use the new org create scratch beta command to create my scratch org. From here, I'm going to copy one of the example commands and jump back into VS Code. I'm now going to switch to terminal and paste the command that uh, I want to run. I'm going to extend my Scratch Org so it has a maximum duration of 30 days. Uh, Scratch Orgs are designed to be temporary. 30 days is the longest that they can live for. So be sure to consider this. And if necessary, like I'm doing, you can use this command to extend the duration of the Scratch Org. As this is an example command, and I've already previously authenticated my dev hub, I am going to remove this section of the command because my dev hub is called something slightly different and I don't want things getting confused. Now that I am happy with my command, I'm telling it to create a scratch org. I'm saying this is my definition file here and it's setting it as the default and the duration of the scratch org will be 30 days. I can hit enter and the command will start to run. As this command is currently in beta, the system is warning me about that. And ultimately it is now queuing the request uh, against the dev hub org and it is creating the scratch org for me in the background. We can now see that my scratch org has been successfully created. And you can see that my default environment within VS Code has been changed to my new scratch org. Now that my scratch org has been successfully created, I'm going to go to the command palette to open my default org. This will now open my Scratch Org for me where I'll be automatically logged in. Because I told Salesforce to enable Sales Cloud Einstein, let's go into setup and double check this is here. So from setup, 
I'm going to search for Sales Cloud Einstein. And from here, you can see that I have access to the assisted setup menu that allows me to configure opportunity scoring, the paid version of Einstein Activity Capture, Einstein Lead Scoring, Opportunity Insights, Account Insights, Automated Contacts, and Einstein Forecasting. As a reminder, my Scratch Org will expire after 30 days, and I can see that it is a Scratch Org because within the URL, it has the word Scratch. Thanks for watching. Please share your feedback in the comments. Thanks.